trying to get on the southeastern flank of the storm uh, so that uh, you know we'll be out of anything uh, dangerous. Uh, I don't want to get, don't want to try to punch the storm. It's uh, as you heard in the report, golf ball size hail. So that's probably the last thing we want to do is try to punch it with this car because uh, I'd rather not have my car all done up. But uh, I'll go ahead and cut the film for now. We're going to get in position and then uh, I'll be back with uh, filming here in a little bit. I'll actually be able to see it really nice here around this field. And then as you can see as we make that field you can see uh, just a very nice uh, classic setup of that supercell. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, show you some of the some of the chasing to a little bit of the southeast of that supercell we tracked that storm about three quarter miles south of Xenia, ohio um, in that first video here you're going to see the shelf cloud of that storm i had to slow this video down because i only got a small clip of it but you can see just how absolutely massive uh, this storm was now from here we're going to go ahead uh, to the first uh, wall cloud um, and you can see the updraft right there we're going to go ahead and listen in you can even hear the tornado sirens uh, in the audio clip here I'm not seeing any rotation as of yet, and this storm is actually going to be heading right as we might want to get a little bit further south. Uh, very big HP supercell. Uh, you can tell by all the rain back over there, but this again is the area that I'm looking at. And uh, it did not end up uh, spawning uh, any kind of tornado, and actually you can only uh, visually spot just minor rotation uh, with that cell. I'm not sure why that video there is messed up below that power line. Um, it was like that actually on the flip cam too. Uh, from here we're going to go ahead and switch to the updraft um, of that storm. You can see how low uh, the clouds were starting to form on that ground um, because that updraft was so strong. And uh, actually here, you know, it's, it's a rotating updraft. Um, you can't really tell so much in the regular motion, uh, but what I went ahead and did is I uh, sped up that uh, video uh, 400 times here right after this clip is over. Uh, so you can actually see how fast, uh, you know, or you can actually see the rotation. You can see the clouds forming uh, right behind it there. Um, that clip will be coming up right about now. And like I said, you can, as soon as I stop shaking, there we go. You can see those rotating there on the left side uh, going backwards and the right side coming up. And now we're going to go ahead to the storm damage and I'll let the audio uh, of the video play from here out. We were just at a little further south, um, but this storm, this storm, uh, of course, this being the, the high precipitation part of that storm, uh, a little further up here, and you can see it's it's done a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, judging by that that power pull that was ripped out, um, you know, you're looking at it had to be 70, 80 mile per hour wind gusts, um, you know, taken out. So. Uh, a lot of trees, uh, a lot of trees. Here's some flash flooding down through here. Uh, not looking like anything too major, but some flash flooding. So we're looking at a storm that has already passed nearly, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. And you can see the hail is still very comparable to a golf ball. Look at this one here. side by side. So this is much larger than golf ball. Might not much larger, but it's definitely larger than golf ball. Look at that beast of a storm. Everything's still covered. They got power here. Uh, power just out down the road. Power out in a few other spots. So uh, if you see anything more, we'll uh, be right back with uh, some more video.